My first guest tonight stars on the hit show House, which is on Monday nights on Fox. <laughs> but it's actually good. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Take a look at this. Welcome, how lovely TV's to see you. TV's Craig Ferguson. TV's Craig Ferguson, none of your rubbish. No. 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 Not radio's Craig Ferguson anymore. I've just seen down there, I'm sitting about a foot lower than you are. Yes, that's the way we do it here. <laughs> go, let's right. go. So... Uh, how are things going over at the house? Uh, house, you know, the house show. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You having a nice time with Fox then? <gasps> I know. <laughs> the tales I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. How, the, the tooth sealed up nicely, though. Yeah, you must say. <laughs> that looks. That I've had implants. I'm getting implants. Yeah. yeah. You, ever, you ever had an implant in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've been in L.A. Yeah. some time now, really. I, I believe that's what pilots call target confusion. I oh. had so many possible jokes, I, I right. just didn't know which one to go for. Well, that's right, yeah. Um, uh, no, no, it, I how, haven't. How uncomfortable are you? Um, I'm fine, actually. Yeah, Do you right. want to go back to the, uh, the status quo? <laughs> no, no, I don't, no, actually. Okay. No, I think no, I'm fine, too. All want, right, then, yeah, all right. <laughs> I, I, uh... Oh, no, sit up straight. Sit up straight. It's actually fun. You, <laughs> let me ask you a question. If it makes you feel more powerful, Craig, yes. that's fine. I, no, that, I don't do this. This is the way it's set yes, up. Yes, of course, a man comes in and sets it for all you. Right, all right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Look, <laughs> I... I was going to ask you how comfortable you are with all the success. It must be driving you crazy. You hate success and, and good times. <laughs> I'm a good old-fashioned Presbyterian. Yes, I'm very suspicious of success and, and um, you know, worldly uh, pleasures. Are you having any worldly pleasures? I don't before? actually. As a matter of fact, <laughs> as a matter of fact, no. I send them back. You know, you get free stuff actually if uh, if you're on TV. Apparently, is that right? Yeah. Did you get that tie? Did, uh, did they do you pay for it or did they get it for free? <laughs> I'm sitting up in the you chair. Have a tie off. No, this is free. No, look at this. Is that a free tie? Actually, I never thought there was a, a, a tie that's slightly more of feet than this one, but there you are, yeah. <laughs> but so confident am I yes. in my sexuality, I, I thought I could tear it off. Yeah. Are you, uh, what about all the sex symbol thing? That must be driving you nuts. The sex symbol? Yes, well, they, you know, Dr. House, he's TV's sexiest doctor, he's the house we'd like in our underpants, all that stuff. <laughs> You. I'm not no, not. you are a little bit. I media. am not making it up. It's all over the no, media. No, I believe I believe I was voted TV's sexiest curmudgeon <laughs> on a list of two. Um, Who's the other curmudgeon? I don't know who the other curmudgeon Andy was. Andy Rooney. <laughs> yeah, right. And that's that's a lot of sex packed into one small yeah. little guy right there. But it was very close. We were neck and neck. Um, but I did, yes, I did just squeak that one. No, now you, you're avoiding the question rather expertly in a Thank Presbyterian you. way, you. but. Yes. No, I, does it make you terribly uncomfortable, people thinking that you're very sexy? Uh, I no. can see that it does. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Finally. No, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's I, ridiculous. It's absurd. I, it's a sexy... I think it's probably a sexy character because, you know, a, a, a sort of wounded... Well, first of all, he heals people. That's right. always... That, that's, that's an attractive sexy, thing. That is sexy, that's true, yeah. And he's a sort of wounded, uh, damaged creature who needs to be mended, and I think perhaps... Uh, women like that. I women yeah, women I, do like I that. I gather... Yeah. I well, what they do is they like, you know, they, women... This is what... I'll give you my expert advice on women. Don't you worry. <laughs> I, I've been divorced twice. I know what I'm talking right. about. So, I think women, when they, what they see is... Like, they see a guy that's all in trouble and they think, well, I can fix him. I can fix him up. It's kind of like extreme right. home makeover, but a guy. With, within the guy. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. But you're not like that. You're perfectly confident and happy in real life and not damaged I'm, and so on. I'm not damaged at all. Mm. No, I... <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I just, I just pretend to be damaged yeah. in order to see if I can make that work, and it doesn't actually work. No, no, you're, you're, it's all right. You, you've, you got the family over now? Have they moved over? Uh, they, they're uh, spending more time here, yes. Right. Um, I'm still so... I'm the show a, is a hit, well, you It's a hit that, show, well, for you God's sake. <laughs> You're going to have to accept. But I'm, I'm, I'm still very um, suspicious of success, and I'm still thinking, oh, it's good. Any, any day now, it could all go horribly wrong, and we'll be, we'll be back on a plane back to, to Blighty. Yeah, well, the, 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 you know, you've already, you must have made a ton of money by now. You can go home and buy the damn place. <laughs> I mean, that fox, they pay money, son. They pay money. If they're not paying you, they're pulling some immigrant crap, because I'm telling you, you <laughs> should get a lot of money for that thing am, you're doing. I am very... Well, clearly. I am very yeah. handsomely <laughs> rewarded. I have as many ties as I can eat. Um, I know, I'm very, very well paid. It's ridiculous. Are you riding the motorcycle I around? certainly am, yes. I I've stopped. Awaiting your call. Well, I've stopped riding the motorcycle around. Why is that? Because I've discovered airplanes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Have you ever flown a little airplane? On an airplane? Right? I have flown on an airplane. Oh, no, no, no. Not a oh, big one where you, you sit down and they come up and say, warm nuts, sir. Not yeah. those ones. <laughs> right. No, I'm just happy to be in first class. No, the, uh, <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <ever>. <laughs> Make just, yourself laugh. Come on, that's so, half the battle. I am so redundant. No. Um, <laughs> you are flying an airplane yourself. Little tiny airplane on my own. I love it. It's I, like a motorbike that goes in the sky. Yes, no, I, right. I mean, I have been on, uh, in fact, I have taken con the control, in fact, I've taken the controls of a jet fighter, how about that? What? An RAF tornado, I went up and they have a certain kind, which are, they're trainers and they have, take up two people, usually it's right. just one. And I vomited for about 45 minutes. <laughs> um, Is that and, part of the training? Well, <laughs> Apparently, the, apparently pilots do do it. Uh, they, they vomit a lot themselves, but it's, it's pretty violent. Um, and, uh, but after about the third vomiting, the pilot, uh, his voice came over the intercom and he said, if you're going to do that again, would you mind uh, switching off your microphone? <laughs> <laughs> he'd had to, he'd had to. <laughs> oh, man. It's not something you want to hear. But they do say, they warn you, that if you don't get it in the bag, yes. and they give you a lot of bags, but if you right. don't get it in the bag, they will make you, you have to clear it up. And it's not like clearing it up off this desk, it's like clearing Which it up... Which I've done often enough, right. let me tell you. It's, it's like, it would be like clearing it up out of the back of a television. Oh, you know, no. You'd be there, yes, you'd be the there wires for, with, and... a, with a toothbrush for yeah. a month. Oh, yeah. no, that's the awful bits of diced carrot yeah, in exactly. there. And... I haven't eaten carrot for months. Yeah, and yet, there? there it is. <laughs> right. It's always there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I rather like the... I don't get vomity in. I get a bit farty sometimes when I'm playing. <laughs> But other than that, those little small cabins. You yeah, can, little cabin. Well, you can open the window. If can you? Yes. If you're, you're, you go. Yeah, if you're if you're flying slowly I enough. I needed to know that. Well, just <laughs> in case you know what, are you still riding the British bike, the Triumph? I am or? riding the Triumph. Yes, yeah. it's my uh, feeble attempt to sort of fly the flag. You know, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful, I think you're doing it's a wonderful well. motorcycle. Wonderful. You had an flag. Indian, didn't you? I, I still have the Indian. It's an American bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. all right. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's American, not British. You know. No, uh, obviously. But, yeah. but within its own terms, it's yeah. Acceptable. Well, as long as you, as long as you want to go in a straight line and not turn, it's a perfectly <laughs> right. acceptable right. bike. Right. In the minute you want to go any of that carving yeah. up the canyon, you've got to then, get off and push it. No, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. But I remember I saw you the Emmy rehearsals when the because they rehearse the Emmys. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I saw you at the Emmy rehearsals and you were you had turned up on your motorbike. To the Emmy rehearsals? Yes. Do you remember that? You say that as if it's nutty. Well, because <laughs> you really do ride the bike. It's not some kind of celebrity and, you know, on Access Hollywood next, you, Laurie, really no, ride no, it. You my, really do. You I move know, around my, on it and everything. Come, come rain or shine. Yeah. Although you don't get much rain here, so it's not much of a test of character in California, but in London, everything except snow. Have you ever been hurt? Uh, when I was uh, 17, I came off quite badly, and I was in a wheelchair for a bit. Oh. Uh, but not since then, because you do it once and you think, Ow. Yes. <laughs> was it, you, was so it your fault? I that again. Was it your fault? It That's was. It. I was showing off to a girl. Ah, uh, yes. And I, I knew this girl, and I thought, I'm going to lay this bike. I'm going to go into this bed. I'm going to lay this bike down so low, she won't, she, and she'll obviously want to marry me. Yes. Uh, it wasn't marry at all, was it? Here? That no, wasn't no. about marrying at all. You were 17. Um, marrying, was... marrying was the euphemism of choice for yeah, that Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I and I it got away from me and it slid down the road and, and what happened to the bike? We, oh. <laughs> yes. And we uh, we didn't marry after all. Yeah. And we didn't marry either. <laughs> uh, well, that's even worse. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. terrible. But it was very very painful. What, and about, I don't you, what about your kids? Are they on the motorcycles? And are you okay? They with that? they are. It's a 
It, yeah, they are, and it's a, it's a slightly scary thing. But mm -hmm. then, it, then I realized, looking back, that it was a very scary thing for my parents. Yeah. Um, when they saw me wobble off uh, at the age of 16 on a motorcycle. But it's something that I, I, I've, you know, I've tried to make sure they get as much training as they possibly can, and they started off riding. They rode for years, actually, off, you know, on grass. Right. And uh, which they is, felt... Which much is more difficult than actually. It's very, very yes, difficult, yes, but it's, you learn an awful lot, um, right. you know, just... Uh, and so, and my middle son is now riding a bike every day. What about your daughter? What is she? She's 14. She, she, she goes on the back of mine. Right. Um, Not a motorcycle. But she'll start dating soon, I suppose, won't she? I'm sorry for saying that. That's a terrible... <laughs> I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm... Yes, oh, she, she won't. won't. She won't. She won't. No, she won't she, be interested uh, in she, boys she is, stuff. She is, a, uh, she is allowed to start dating at, uh, on her 35th birthday. I think that's reasonable. Uh, perfectly reasonable. I yeah. understand that. It's for her own good. I, I, I couldn't you agree know? more. If I ever have yeah. a daughter, she'll be in her 40s. On you no, go, uh, enjoy yourself. It's, uh, it is a worrying, uh, it's a worrying prospect. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. I know. Oh. <laughs> Rather wish I hadn't brought it up. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Still, we are finished the, the, the entire thing, so, we, you know, we'll at least end on a kind of down. Oh, uh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Not, yeah. I like the way you've sort of shaped the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I'm the master of yes, the television I, interview, as you can tell. Well, that's all we have time for, Hugh. Thanks. I think oh, we've shucks. all learned something. Well, good. Hugh Laurie, everybody. We'll be right back and make a start.